obviously it's cooperation, there's trademarks, there's copyrights. Um, you have to have, um, be determined that you have to try to stand this out. You have the cooperation of police, you have the cooperation of um, people that enforce trademarks and you have to work at your own uh, organization even as a as a league to say each club has to put so much money in to fight and stop this pirating because it's illegal and it's uh, it's bad news another very important one on that is you have to educate the fans educate your supporters you have to get your supporters to understand if they spend money outside of their club or their official merchandise they're giving money to bad things to things that aren't helping their club so it's also an education to your own supporters and it, it, you have to work hard at that you have to understand that um, I spoke before about um, the magazine Manchester United magazine the reason the Manchester United magazine believe it or not came about was because there was a magazine company that tried that produced a Manchester United magazine but it was Man U which we didn't have a trademark from and the only way to stop it was to do our own magazine and make sure that customers and people could get the magazine and what it had to be was better than the other magazine. So that's another way of fighting it. But you have to be determined and not close your eyes to it and really want to stop it. Last year that I was in Manchester we, just, we sold just under one million shirts. I think that that's a benefit for a club to, to promote. I mean, Asia is a, raise, is a rising market. I mean, um, the first time that we decided to go to, to Asia, um, on the same point, we were offered more money to go to America. But we decided our place was Asia. We needed to bring Asia, Asia and football in Asia is um, upward. It's going to be very, very big. So why not promote yourself in Asia? And what, where else would you go? Why do you need to go somewhere else? I mean, it's the place that you want to take your brand. And if you have got a valuable brand like Beckham, that is a, not only your club brand, but a, an individual brand, you make, must make the most of it. You must understand. But what happens is um, they go to these places without giving any forth, thought or, or planning or understanding. You know, there must be a... Um, understanding that you're going to go there but have everything has to be in place before you go is the merchandise there are you promoting it are the magazine you know it's it's also not just going there you have to have an organization to support going to to one of the uh, Asia countries or anywhere in the world for that matter you can't prove that to me and it doesn't work and it hasn't happened you know, they're, they're, they buy players because they want them for the team. There's no way you're going to force Alex Ferguson, Arsene Wenger, to buy a player because it's Asia. He's only going to buy a player because they're good enough. 